I'm 70 and I'm awesome. Yes, I am so awesome. What a bold thing to say about myself, right? <laughs> well, the thing is, you're awesome too. And if you don't think you're awesome, guess what? Um, I want to have a little chit chat with you. And this is for guys and gals. I want to let's talk about this because there's an awesomeness inside of you. And let's get this thing pulled out. Now, I know some of you, a lot of my viewers, not all, and, and that's okay, but you, a lot of you are Christians. I'm a Christian, you're a Christian. And I know a lot of you, and you have said in the past, God is the only awesome thing. God is the only good thing. God is good. But if you're a Christian, if you're a true Christian, guess what? You're a child of God, and I think that's pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, yes. I mean, get rid of the the feeling like a worm, okay? You are of, of things that angels are made of. Fire, awesomeness, okay? So I just wanted to clarify that. If you're not Christian, uh, you're Buddhist or whatever, you're awesome. Let's be awesome together, okay? <laughs> Coffee. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about this, okay? What you hold in your head, you hold in your hand. You know, I, I watch, okay, I've come across a couple of bits of information just over the past couple of days that I want to share with you. One is I watched this video. Do you, I'm sure you do. Do you remember Justine Bateman? She was in Family Ties with Michael J. Fox. And her brother, I think it's uh, Jason Bateman. He is hilarious. I love movies that he's in. Well, she's not in the limelight anymore. And they did an interview with her. And she's looking older. I mean, she's older. And the gist of the whole video was, is that older women are embracing our awesomeness. Because we are awesome. And we're not... Um, she talked about like her face and she like pulled it back and it's like oh yeah you know look we all can do that in the mirror we kind of can pull it back go, oh this is what I look like when I was like 20 right and I, I got some droopy eyelids going on and so does Justine and she said but she's not going to have any surgery more and more women are not going to do that now I'm you might think, well, I wouldn't have done that anyway, so I don't have the money for that. But what's happening is a lot of models who are aging, actresses, you know, they've been sort of role models for us. And, you know, rock stars, singers, people who are celebrities and have been into the, um, the limelight. But they're all saying that they're not going to do that. They're not, you know, we're not going to become a Madonna, okay? You know, she does look pretty creepy. Um, but they do, um, I, there's this one on a YouTube, there's this one channel, and he's a, um, a, a, a physician, a plastic surgeon, and he has a website, and he can see by pictures, he tells exactly what each, so he'll pick a celebrity and say what this person had at this point at different ages. Madonna had her first surgery when she was like in her later 20s. What was she thinking? Because I guess she had the money and she could. But older women, we are we are embracing our looks. We're embracing who we are. And we're becoming a force to reckon with, I think. I'm from the 60s. And I graduated in 1971. So I'm from the 60s. And by the time I got into my uh, young adult life and I wasn't home anymore, it was during the 70s and there was still a lot of a lot of things going on during the 70s. But I'll tell you, we are we're feisty. We're feisty. We're feisty guys, we're feisty girls. I'm talking to you guys too. I'm not just talking about girls. You know, you guys worry about what you look like too, maybe not to the extent that we females do, but you worry about your looks too, and you worry about your body. So I loved watching this video with Justine Bateman, 
And what she's doing right now is she's not in the limelight, but she's a, a movie producer and a film producer and editor. Oh my gosh, she is, she's cool. I always liked her. She is so cool. What a nice family. And uh, Jason, I think his name is Jason. Jason Bayman, I love him. <laughs> he is so cool. I love his style. So let's go ahead and talk about this. One more video that I watched yesterday. They're now saying that muscle mass, our muscle mass is determinant of a person's longevity yeah all this the the stem cells that are that are being utilized that can be utilized that are stored in our muscles hello muscle mass now i've been working out pretty good at the gym and i have been for going really strong for about the last month i was i have my own videos that i was doing but i wasn't doing as much of the uh the weights i was doing some of the weights i was doing a lot of um leg lifting which was building um it was resistance i was building muscle but i tell you i've been going to planet fitness inside and i've been doing this at least at least four days a week i just got back today and I just got back and um, wanted to talk to y'all about this. I I'm really excited about this awesomeness. Uh, we are awesome. I am so awesome. I can't even stand it sometimes. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. Mm. Good, good coffee. Okay. So, I... Have re I'm really going to go for it. I'm going to build more muscle mass. Now I've got, for me personally, I've got a. I've always been muscular, more on the bottom half of my body than the top. But I'm going for the top too. Oh yeah, I'm going to build up. But I'm much more solid now than I was, say, you know, a couple months ago with winter. And with Christmas and eating and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm getting a lot firmer and I'm going to be building up those muscles. I think it's really important. I do not understand uh, stem cells. I looked it up. I saw this video and they talked about longevity, muscle mass, and it determines, um, you know, how long we're going to live, how healthy we're going to be, and... They said that stem cells are being stored, that, that our muscles store our stem, stem cells. Well, I tried to look it up because I thought, well, what is this stem cell business? I don't totally understand that. And I still don't. <laughs> I still don't. I was watching a couple of them. I thought, okay, this is all going over my head. I think maybe I need to get the book Stem Cells for Dummies. I need somebody to tell me about stem cells like I'm a six-year-old, Okay. Well, it sounds pretty, pretty friggin' awesome though, doesn't it? <laughs> Stem cells repair and they, 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 they rebuild. So also our muscle mass, we have to, okay, I'm just going to, I've, I've mentioned this before, but this is so important. Here we go. Here's your little lecture on muscles. Muscles protect our bones, our ligaments, our tendons, our nervous system. It protects that. It surrounds and it builds around. So if we, if I fall against something and I don't have muscle to stop it, I mean, I'm going to damage something. I'm, I'm, the nerves could get um, bent or torn or a ligament could get torn worst case scenario is to fall and break a bone when you're older and you fall and you break a bone you will probably die it, it it's one of the it's one of the precursors of death in in older people you break a bone you lay around and then you get pneumonia and you die please don't do that Please don't do that. 
we can start building muscle now. Start now. Make it a, a priority. Build muscle. Get to the gym. There's Planet Fitnesses everywhere. Just uh, what I did was I just have a, um, I don't have a black card anymore. I just have a regular membership and I go to the same one every, every day that I go. It's for the year. I believe it's like $40 for the year. It's a one time for the year and it's only $10. The black card is up to like $27 now. The black, the regular membership is $10. Pick a Planet Fitness that's close to where you're going to be. And I wanted to do this because I figured I'm going to be in Tucson for a while. And then when I go up north, I'll be someplace else. And I can, once you're at a, it, once you get a membership, you can't transfer it for three months. But once that three months is up, you can transfer it. Now, then you can't transfer from then, no, the new one for three months. And then you can do that. But that's the way I travel as a nomad, Right. Seriously, they have trainers there for free and they will show you what you need to do for your body type. I was looking around today and I was looking at a lot of people. There were some, you know, as I'm on the treadmill and of course I'm watching and I'm looking around. There's a lot of people there who are older, who are our age. Well, I know a lot of you, you're younger. You know what? Side note, side note. Um, I have... Um, brought in as subscribers some new who are watching too uh, younger folks yeah thank you for being here I'm very young at heart and I like to talk to you too if you are younger you're not a senior yet you're younger you're working you want to be a nomad you're working and I like to give you tips on how to do that and nomadic millennial Tyler he I'll leave the link for his um channel He's a, he's a nomad living in his, in his minivan and he's young. He's only, he's not even 30 yet, but he's working. And so, you know, I'm very young minded <laughs> and I love to talk to young people. I was very close to my children as they were growing up. Their friends would come over, but that's another side note. Let's get back. Looking around the gym and I look at some of the people the older people working out and I'm like I can always tell the ones who just got started they're they're they figured okay I better do something you know and some are big some don't have good muscle mass a lot of older people don't have any any derriere any <laughs> their derriere is gone they have no butt muscles they have no butt okay I'll just say it <laughs> they don't have an awesome butt but <laughs> I know somebody had mentioned about me. Ah, quit showing your butt. You know, well, I'm going to talk about butts. You want to keep your gluteus maximus strong. If you fall backwards, I mean, you're going to break your hip bone. You're going to, yeah. Okay. Oh, one guy I noticed that he's had absolutely no butt. And I'm like, wow, he has no butt. <laughs> he had fat around here, but he had no butt. So he, it was all gone. And I see sometimes older women, they're so thin, they've lost so much weight and they've lost so much muscle mass. But what they call that, the pancake butt? The butt's a pancake? Okay. Okay, no more butt dog. So young people, guess what? Keep working out. Do not let your body go downhill. Do not. Don't get heavy. <laughs> that way you don't have to worry about when you get, when you get older. And if you lose a lot of weight, then you don't have to have surgery to get all that extra skin off, right? Okay. So work out, everybody. Get to the gym and start lifting weights. Start getting some muscle mass on you. Now, if you don't want to live a long time, then don't do it. Don't do it, okay? But if you do, get going. You can change this. I remember watching a video. She was 97 years old and she started doing yoga. You should see her go. I mean, she looks like she's in her 90s, but wow, she, her body can do all these things. And she's having the time of her life. When you stay active, you can have the time of your life. Now, I'm 70. 
and I'm awesome. Well, okay, I'm a couple, I'm a few weeks shy of 70. But if you consider life starts in the womb, then I am 70, right? I always wondered about that, you know. Shouldn't we start at, the, at conception? I was alive. I'm a person, yeah. Well, so I am 70 and I'm awesome. And I plan on being, when I'm 80, I'm going to say I'm 80 and I'm awesome. I'm looking forward to being 70. I really am. Um, I know I really am already 70. But it's, <laughs> but I'm not, okay? That's weird to say that. Um, to me, time really doesn't exist anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, okay. Time was created for human beings, you know, so we could tick-tock and count the clock time and make our alarms and all that go up. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and, and talk about being feisty. Oh, I am feisty. I think Paul has learned that. I'm feisty. Um, <laughs> the other day, a, about a week and a half ago, I was at the park. Won't go into a whole thing. It's on my Facebook. But these one guys decided that, well, and I wasn't parking correctly, but nobody ever parked there before. Okay? Okay. <laughs> and, but they really came after me like I was some little freaking girl. Oh, honey, I don't think so. And I just gave it back to them. And there there was only one of me, and there were like seven of them. So, you know, <clears throat> anyways, that's another story. But I think uh, Paul got a chance to see, really, I am very feisty. I think a lot of us people are from the 60s, right? We don't take no crap from nobody, do we? Well, okay, I do. I, You know, I don't want to be, you know, too feisty, but. But we are. <laughs> what can I say? We are. And I think it makes us alive. We're alive and we're we're having a good time. And of course, you know, living in our minivans and living in our or our bricks and sticks. But those of you who are living the nomad life, it's just a really good time. I am enjoying myself so much. And I'm enjoying myself because I'm keeping my physique going. I've got my muscles. I can do what I, I don't just, I fit in my minivan very nicely. And I get to enjoy my life and to the fullest. I feel like I'm living, I feel like right now I'm living my best life ever. But another thing too is you want to do your self-care. You must do your self-care. Now, just two days ago, I was in a hotel. I bought, I got myself a hotel room and I wanted to soak in the tub, do my nails, take care of my hair, um, just rest. And of course they had, um, Wi-Fi there. So I got a chance to, um, take care of some business while I was there. And I was on my laptop for quite a while. Got some, got some good stuff done. But self care is so important to relax, take care of yourself, take care of your skin. Another thing too, everybody really use that sunblock, not just sunscreen, but sunblock. If you're going to be outside, use that sunblock. Seriously. If you're younger girls use a sunblock. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I had a really good time and it was just so relaxing and, um, they served breakfast and it was, and everybody was friendly at this one. I only, I don't stay in the same hotel all the time. I look for the deals. And I did find one that I thought, yes, because some of them lately have been so expensive. But I got a good deal. And I just stayed um, for the one night. You don't even really get um, 24 hours anymore. Check-in is like three and then you have to leave by 11. You know, that's really, you only get 20 hours being there. But I took advantage of it totally. Well, how many baths? I took three baths, one shower. Did some primping. Even trimmed my hair a little bit. Still doing, um, still taking care of my hair nicely. Oh. So, I'm 70 and I'm awesome. I'm awesome. You're awesome too. What I want you to do is go ahead and 
I want you to think about these things. Let's deal with your self-talk. What do you say to yourself? Pay attention. What do you say to yourself? Do you put yourself down? How many, how often do you put yourself down in your self-talk? For most people, it's a lot. You, you don't even realize that you're doing it and go, go oh, this is going to kill me. Well, don't say that. It's not going to kill you. Because your body, you think, oh, I'm just kidding. But your body says, oh, my gosh. Yeah. She's doing this or he's doing this. Well, now we have to kill her. <laughs> now she's going to die, you know. Um, you know, d watch what you say. Um, watch what you say to yourself. I know sometimes I hear people say, Oh, I was, I'm so dumb sometimes. Uh, no, you're not. You're not dumb. You're not dumb. You're smart. You're not, you know, you're the best. You're the best that you can be. Be the best. Say really nice things to yourself. There's enough people out there that are going to say horrible things to you. And I get it all the time because I've got a YouTube channel. People say the dumbest things to me. I know, what did somebody say? And I'm, don't worry, I'm not, you know, I just, uh, I, I clicked that button. But what did he say? He watched the one video, um, 25 years alone. And he says, he goes, you talk too much. You just talk to hear yourself talk. Well, um, maybe I do. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Cause I'm awesome. I can talk all I want. Talking, I'm telling a story and this is the kind of per the kind of person that would say something like that. It says more about them than it does about me. Sure, people talk. Sometimes I do talk. You know me. I'm a ooh, you know I'm a talker. But that's what stories are made of. This is what generations are made of. We pass on stories. We pass on information to each other. You know, at one point there weren't ever, there weren't books. There were, they had scrolls. There wasn't even a book. That's that noise. They had scrolls, you know. But a lot of, well, back even the old biblical days, they had those sticks and the the stories were notched on their walking stick, <laughs> really. So stories are passed on. And my story is, well, my story is that I'm 70 and I'm awesome today. But I have lots of stories and I want, and you tell me your stories too. I'm going to do a video soon at some point and I'm going to read some of these, um, comments because I know some of you don't go back and read the comments, but I mean, some of them are awesome. Awesome is the word for the day today. You're awesome. <laughs> tell yourself right now you're awesome and good things are coming your way. Good things are coming my day today. Good things are coming my way today. I'm not even going to edit this video. One of you said, I like your videos when they're unedited. Well, this one's going to be unedited. You said that the videos seem more real, like I'm talking to you. Well, I am talking to you and I love you and I'm kissing you because you're awesome. I think we're all awesome and don't, don't put yourself down. Don't consider yourself, well, you know, I'm just a little worm and I'm not worthy. Yes, you are. If you're a child of God, you're worthy. So stop. Stop that. Uh, stand up, you know, and be counted. When you are nice to yourself, it's a good indication you're going to be nice to other people. If you're not nice to yourself, you're not going to be nice to other people. And you're going to be really freaking grumpy. Quit being grumpy. You know, get yourself going and get exercising. And and quit being sad and quit being, um, thinking that things aren't going your way. Things are going your way. Things are coming up for you. And we just need to pull it in, pull out the awesomeness out of ourselves and meditate on this and look at yourself. What do you want your life to be? What do you want it to be? What do you want it to look like? Vision it. What do you want? What do you want to do? What do you want to do with your life? If you're younger, what are your talents? What are your skills? 
you are awesome, but you need to get your mind right and your body right. You need to, my hair is up there. there. Now I'm more awesome. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just teasing you. Look, I'm going to be talking a lot more about this in the coming videos. It's time that we embraced our awesomeness, our fabulousness. Yes. Now, don't forget, if you're older, if you're a senior, don't forget your balance exercises. I know that you've been following me, a lot of you, and I'm not going to do them every single video, but you need to keep going with your balance exercises, and then you need to get to the gym. You need to get to the gym, and you need to be working out, and you need to be pumping up because this will help you live longer and live a happier life. Okay, so there we go. There's your pep talk for the day. I don't know how old you are, you could be, but I want you to say this, say your age, say I'm, and I'm awesome. You are awesome, I want you to say that all day, I'm awesome, listen to yourself talk. I love you guys. Go to minivanlee.com for my products. Oh, yeah. it's I had to put this my fleece back on. It's freezing out there. Well, it's not freezing. But it's cold again. And I've already put all my winter clothes away. And I can't wait to wear my colors. <laughs> These are my colors. And I got a new bathing suit top. Colors. Oh, I can't wait to wear them, but I'm kind of stuck with the black right now. So I'm awesome. And in just a few weeks, I'm going to be 70 years old. Oh my gosh. So I only have a few weeks left of my sixties. Yeah. I am excited. Okay. So products and please subscribe. Yes. Get the book. Give me a thumbs up. And the best thing you can do for this video and for your friends friends and family, share this video with somebody you love. Do not ever let the old in. You're awesome. Keep going, everybody. I love you guys. Bye. Be awesome. Have an awesome day. Awesome. Awesome. Mm. You're still here. That's awesome. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Mwah.